Simplifying creatine monohydrate, what happens to your body? Is it a safe way to boost your performance or are there risks you should know about? Today we'll simplify creatine monohydrate, exploring its impact on your body and its benefits. Stay tuned to uncover the science behind this popular supplement and how it can potentially transform your fitness journey. But before we get started, show your appreciation by hitting that like button. Understanding Creatine Monohydrate Creatine monohydrate is a naturally occurring compound that can be found in certain foods in small amounts and is also synthesized within our bodies. Essentially, creatine is made up of three amino acids, arginine, glycine, and methionine. It is commonly present in food sources like meat and fish. However, when it is concentrated into a powder form, creatine monohydrate becomes tasteless and odorless, making it a popular choice as a dietary supplement. The primary sources of creatine in our bodies come from our diet and the natural production that occurs in the liver and kidneys. While it is true that we can obtain creatine from consuming red meat, fish and poultry, our bodies have the remarkable ability to produce small amounts of creatine on their own. Unfortunately, the quantities produced are often not enough for those who are looking to maximize their gains. Creatine plays a crucial role in the energy production system of our body, specifically within the muscle cells. When we participate in activities that require short bursts of intense effort, such as weightlifting or sprinting, our muscles need rapid energy release. This energy primarily comes from a molecule known as adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. Creatine aims to resynthesize ATP, essentially functioning as a quick rechargeable battery for our muscles. As a result, we are able to complete more reps, lift heavier, and push our limits for longer durations. How does creatine monohydrate work in the body? Our muscles depend on energy, specifically ATP, to contract and endure rigorous activities. However, the body has a limited supply of ATP, which is quickly depleted during intense, short bursts of exercise. Enter the ATP PC system, also known as the adenosine triphosphate phosphocreatine system. This system plays a vital role in rapidly replenishing energy during these short bursts of high intensity exercise. Phosphocreatine is essentially a high energy molecule that works in conjunction with ATP to provide the immediate energy required for muscle contractions. When your muscles need quick bursts of power, they utilize the stored phosphocreatine to regenerate ATP, allowing you to maintain your strength and endurance. So what exactly is the role of creatine in all of this? When you ingest creatine monohydrate, it enters your muscles and combines with a phosphate molecule to create creatine phosphate or phosphocreatine. This pool of phosphocreatine acts as a valuable energy reserve, like a backup generator during a power outage. During intense activity, the creatine phosphate donates its phosphate group to ADP or adenosine diphosphate, rapidly converting it back into ATP. This regeneration of ATP allows your muscles to keep contracting with strength, delaying fatigue and ultimately improving performance. Creatine plays a vital role in muscle contractions by providing additional fuel for your body. It enables you to push through that final rep, sprint those last few meters, or hold that challenging yoga pose a little longer. The more creatine stored in your muscles, the greater your capacity for explosive and high intensity efforts. Does creatine really cause water retention? When it comes to taking creatine supplements, one common side effect is temporary water retention. However, this is a minor issue that shouldn't cause too much concern. The reason behind this is that creatine molecules have the ability to attract water into our muscle cells through a process known as osmosis. In simpler terms, creatine relies on water to function optimally within our muscle cells, so it assists in transporting water into those cells. The increase in water content primarily occurs within the muscle cells themselves, rather than the layer of subcutaneous water under our skin. This means that it's not the type of water retention that leads to bloating or puffiness. Additionally, the extent of water retention can vary from person to person. While some individuals may not even notice any changes in their water weight, others might experience a slight increase in weight during the initial phase of supplementation. Differentiating between water weight and actual muscle gain is crucial. When it comes to creatine, the water weight is a temporary effect that mostly occurs in the initial weeks of supplementation. On the other hand, muscle gain refers to the long-term increase in the size of muscle tissue due to resistance training and to some extent the improved performance benefits of creatine. 
So if you notice a slight increase in weight, don't panic. It's most likely due to your muscle cells retaining more water, which is actually a positive sign that creatine is effectively increasing cellular hydration and optimizing energy production. Benefits of creatine monohydrate Improved exercise performance By boosting the availability of ATP, your muscles are able to produce more explosive energy during short bursts of high intensity activities. This results in enhanced strength, power and endurance, enabling you to overcome challenging workouts and achieve new milestones. Muscle growth and hypertrophy Creatine not only assists in lifting heavier weights, but also stimulates muscle cells to expand and develop over time. The increased water content within the muscle cells, as mentioned earlier, contributes to this phenomenon. Furthermore, creatine's capacity to decrease muscle protein breakdown facilitates faster recovery between workouts, creating an optimal environment for muscle repair and growth. Accelerated Recovery by promoting cellular hydration and reducing muscle damage, creatine can help minimize muscle soreness and inflammation. This allows you to recover more swiftly from intense workouts and maintain a consistent training schedule, which is crucial for long-term progress. Potential Cognitive Benefits Creatine is widely known for its positive effects on physical performance, but recent studies are uncovering its potential cognitive benefits. Research indicates that supplementing with creatine may enhance cognitive function, especially in tasks that rely on short-term memory and quick thinking. While further investigation is necessary to understand the extent of this, it is an intriguing area of exploration, particularly for individuals looking to gain that mental advantage. Side Effects of Creatine Monohydrate Gastrointestinal distress. When individuals begin taking creatine supplements, they may experience minor gastrointestinal issues. These can include stomach cramps, diarrhea, or nausea. However, these side effects are usually mild and can often be reduced by either lowering the dosage or taking creatine with food. Hydration can also help to minimize these symptoms. Weight gain. As mentioned, one thing to keep in mind is that creatine can cause a temporary increase in water weight due to its ability to retain water. It's important to note that this isn't necessarily a negative side effect. Instead, it simply means that you may see a slight increase when you step on the scale. This increase is not due to gaining fat, but rather indicates that your muscles are becoming more hydrated. Kidney and liver health. There have been extensive studies conducted on the potential impact of creatine on kidney and liver health. For most healthy individuals, taking creatine at recommended doses is unlikely to have any adverse effects. However, if you have any pre-existing kidney or liver conditions, it is crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before commencing regular supplementation. Dehydration even though creatine helps muscles retain water, it can paradoxically contribute to higher fluid loss through sweat. To combat this, it is crucial to maintain proper hydration, particularly when participating in rigorous physical activities. Dosage and loading phase. Understanding the correct dosage of creatine monohydrate is crucial for reaping its benefits without overloading your system. For most people, a recommended daily dose of approximately 3 to 5 grams of creatine is typically advised for maintenance. This amount is sufficient to maintain fully saturated muscle creatine stores and optimize performance levels. Now let's delve into the concept of a loading phase. While not mandatory, it can be a helpful strategy for individuals who desire to rapidly saturate their muscle creatine stores. During the loading phase, it is common to consume around 20 grams of creatine per day, divided into four 5 gram doses for a duration of about 5 to 7 days. This front loading approach expedites the elevation of muscle creatine levels to their maximum capacity. The loading phase can be beneficial if you are eager to experience the effects of creatine sooner. However, commencing with a maintenance dose is perfectly acceptable, although it may take a bit longer to achieve the same level of muscle creatine saturation. The timing and method of consuming creatine can have an impact on its effect. Many individuals choose to consume creatine immediately after their workout because this is when their muscle cells are more open to absorbing nutrients. Mixing creatine with a source of carbohydrates such as a sports drink or fruit juice can enhance its absorption. However, taking it with it just a glass of water is also effective. It is also recommended to take your creatine supplement at the same time every day to maintain consistent levels of creatine in your muscles. If you are worried about experiencing side effects, you may want to consider taking creatine with food or dividing your daily dose into smaller, more frequent servings. 
And there you have it, the simplified truth about creatine monohydrate. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions about this topic, so please drop your comments below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And for more intriguing fitness insights, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, stay strong and keep lifting.